Springfield Armory XDS box. So, what does that mean? I picked up a Springfield Armory XDS. Let's talk about this gun purchase. As you guys know, I was selling my XD40. I'm in the middle of selling my XD40 still. It's going to be sold this Thursday. And you guys did not know this, but I sold my car CM9 to the other half of Brandon Millimeter USA because it's not friendly to a left-handed shooter. I picked this up. I think I got an upgrade. What do you guys think? This is the Springfield Armory XDS 9mm Melanite finish. What do you think of it? Pretty nice, right? 3.3 inch barrel, 7 round flush fitting magazine. Came with three magazines, you guys. So this is post recall. Came with three mags, two seven rounders, and one extended nine round magazine. Came with a right handed holster, which I can't use, so I gave that to the half brand line moment USA. Uh, came with a magazine pouch, which I probably will end up using a little bit, maybe. And as you can see right there, it is uh, from 2013, actually. So. Hopefully this will end up working out. I'm going to attach some shooting footage to the end of this video. One thing that I really like about this gun is the fiber optic front sight. As you can see in the front there. And I mean it really just lines up and it really jumps out at you. So they send another red and a green fiber optic tube. You get your gun lock of course, you get all your warranty information in the back right there. I'm really curious to see how this gun shoots. We're probably going to attach some shooting footage to the end of this video and see if it's reliable, how the recoil is. It's definitely going to have less recoil compared to those light 9mm you guys like the Sky CPX-2 or the Car CM9 because I believe this weighs 23 ounces so I mean it's heavier than the Glock 26 Gen 4 or Gen 3. It's going to have probably less recoil even than the Glock 26 in my opinion. So it also has a passive grip safety, you guys, so when you're gripping the gun, you want to grip high, not grip low. If you don't depress the grip safety and you try to pull the trigger, the gun will not fire unless the grip safety is depressed. And then you can pull the trigger. It's a pretty nice gun. It has a uh, pretty good reset, too. Right there. And pull a trigger. Trigger is all the way out right there. Resets about right there. A little bit of creep and then it breaks. So it has a pretty good break though. Just a little bit of creep, which isn't bad. You know, some of my other guns don't have any creep though. So I'm kind of not used to that. It also has a ambidextrous magazine catch, so it's on both sides. Unlike the car CM9. As you can see, it's on this side and on that side. Slide release is only on the side for righties though, but that doesn't matter because I usually do the overhand method anyways. Has a uh, chamber indicator right there, as you can see. Has a pretty aggressive grip actually on it. First week I had it when I was handling it, just gripping it, it really kind of hurt to handle because uh, it was just really kind of aggressive, which that's good though. And you know, handling it over time will make it a little bit less aggressive. Right now I have the uh, small back strap on it. It comes with two back straps, but that's the small. So very positive uh magazine release. Watch the magazine it just jumps out of there when you press the magazine release. I mean it just throws it out of there. And the slide is back so there's no pressure on the uh, magazine release right now. So let's uh see how much it jumps. I mean you just see it just flies out of there. throws it out which is nice anyways you guys I'm hopefully gonna be able to attach some shooting footage to the end of this video I hope that you like uh, the Springfield Armory XDS I'm looking forward to shooting it it also has a polished feeding ramp as you can see right there pretty good thickness on the barrel metal guide rod pretty good trigger Springfield Armory XDS 9mm putting a few rounds through my new Springfield Armory XDS 9mm.
Well, we'll be putting through it is a few magazines, three magazines to be exact. The first magazine is going to be some Gold Dot 124 grain mixed with some Federal HST, seven rounds total. So anyways, you guys, hope you enjoy the upcoming video. Should be a good one. One thing that people are complaining about after the uh, recall is the uh, triggers aren't as uh, light as they used to be. Mine is probably 5.5 pounds or 6 pounds. It at first seemed like it was 9 pounds or something like that, but after dry firing it a few hundred times, and then uh, after shooting it 30 times, 40 times, the trigger seems to be getting a lot better than at first out of box, just so you guys know.